Hi there, I'm here with my violin today playing Witch's Dance, or theme from Witch's Dance. Okay, so I'm going to take a look at my uh, key signature. I have F sharps and C sharps, and then I notice that I have um, kind of a confusing rhythm. So I have dotted eighth to sixteenth. So my rhythm is like this. One to two to one, two, one to two to one, two, one to two to two to one, two. One, two Two. Okay, now I'm going to practice that with the right bowing but with no fingers. So I'm going to play it on the A string. You could do it up in the air. Down, down again, up, up again, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. triplets are one lolly, two lolly, one, rest, one lolly, two lolly, one. Okay, so that is important to practice with just an open string over and over again until you really, it's like you're working on muscle memory so that you don't have to think about it because the notes do get kind of confusing. All right, starting from the top, I have F sharps and C sharps. And I throw a little accent on that up bow. And now I have G natural, low two. Here's a D sharp, high three. I need to get that way up there. Right next to my fourth finger tape. D sharp again. So fourth finger on or second finger on my tape. And it happens that way through the whole line. Those are all G sharps. Now this part gets a little bit confusing. This is measure 25. And I am on A, and then I have G natural and F natural. So A, low two, low one, low one, low two. Now I have, this is the hardest measure in the piece, low four, then low two, and one on the tape. So my fingers look like this. These two touch, and these two touch, okay? And then low one, F natural, C sharp. And that third finger was just a regular D, okay? So I'm going to play 25 slowly one more time and then up to speed. And you want to practice that little section, 25, to 32 over and over again until you get really comfortable with it. At 29, you need to slow down a little bit, retardando, and, and piano, okay? Uh, then I go back, let me just do that one more time, 25 up to tempo. Fermata there, so I'm holding it a little bit longer, more like three beats instead of two. Then there's a caesura, the two lines, that means I stop for a second, and then I start up again, old speed, and forte. So it's actually going to sound a lot like the beginning. And now I'm going to work on this ending, which is not too hard. It looks harder than it than it actually is, except the rhythm going into it is a little bit tricky. At measure 37, uh, my rhythm is like this. One, two, three, two. And I'm going to practice that over and over again. G natural, low two. 
and then F sharp right on my tape. And then I'll start back one measure at 36, still stopping on the first met note of 38. that, then learning the last line is going to be no problem. Just start slowly. Natural. Sharp. Sharp. to do is start at 36 and put those two rhythms together. So 36. And that last note is short and should just come right off the string. Now I'm going to play the whole entire song from beginning to end without stopping. Thanks for listening.